Welcome, welcome, welcome to Outer Worlds. We are carrying on my long play walkthrough, whatever's. Uh, we're doing side quests. We've got lots of side quests. We've got some companion ones, so I'm going to try to do them, mop them up, and then carry on with the main quest line. Um, as you can see, I've still got my. I've just maxed out these three things this game. Um, I was going to. I was doing charmer stuff, as in, like, I thought that charisma was maybe needed, but I think on a higher playthrough, difficult it would be. So I've pretty much just done conversation stuff. I got three perks available as well. For one perk, I got an accident for um, paranoia to robots, which is no good. I would not recommend it. There are robots around too often when you're trying to do quest stuff. And then you get negative perk to your skill check, which makes it annoying because you got you just lose like 10 points of skill for naught. Um, yeah, so we've got thing with Felix and Ellie. Chris and Barty and another one. Um, I think I've finished that uh, Bible Bible dude. Let me sort sort them out. Get my YouTube up. Sorry for delay. Start the play. All right, let's go. Um, we're going to. I was just running. Heard from the lasses down on twenty two that you did a I've noticed uh, basically my non search searches all comes across my stuff when they watch. Which is good. I don't mind. Uh actually you should take more feedback on what people watch. Now why is it for the that way? It's weird. Hospital finals are scheduled to air. Hospital, eh? Oh yeah, is that uh there's like a movie studio side quest. I might be about might be able to do that still. Um it's probably a save game to see what quests I've missed as well. If you're here for this week's magazine club, this trick's quite you're funny. You're a touch late. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. Most folk don't got the time, or bathtubs for such, me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Hmm. Engineer. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, spy if I was job. a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. Precious life, eh? Hmm. Now we'll talk about. Take your time, dear. Go ask her. Do what she wants. Right. Um. We got another painting quest here. Oh, not there. This one. Um. Uh, is it here? Ellie and Felix. Yeah, I'm gonna do Felix this one. Let's do this boss man. I didn't really talk too much. This is Halcyon News. I don't really did much in here. Good Vero. Hey Ellie, having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, let's go to the door.
I was going further away. In the wrong direction. Oh, this dude. I, the Chucky. You mind trying to have a moment here? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You're telling me you're on a first name basis with Ms. Tennyson? All right. I'm going to take your word for it. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, marriage I wouldn't contract. renew so him good. if I wanted to. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. Thanks, Rose. What else we doing there? Parvati. Ah, oh, I'll get to this one. Action first as well. Oh, bro. Parvati. Alright, let's get to it to uh, the boss. Didn't, uh... Oh, man, it's still this. All right, oh. hushing up. Come on, nurse. Hey. Yep. What do you think you're doing? Oh, my mistake. Don't lose uh, anything. Rip. Yep. No good. I'm supposed to steal that properly. And now I'll do that. Oh. Yeah, it's too close to them. I'm play darts, can you? I'm not sure that Moon Man face, maybe he's um, changes the tune. I always like a bunch of like, the random quests I've done. But I'll have to like, try to figure it out why I haven't done before I carry on the main quest. Must be like some bad game thing or something. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Swell. Has anyone from HR given you the new employee talk? I don't actually know. That answers for both questions. Here goes. Welcome to Sublight, where salvage runs thicker than blood. We're still trying out new slogans. 
Sublight. Because what's your alternative? Hey, that's not a bad slogan. Thanks. Glad to have you on board. We could use the help after what happened to the last contractor. Uh, no I didn't. Oh, that. Uh, just stay in Miss Lilia's good side. Stealing off supplies is a good way to end up as salvage, if you know what I mean. You're gonna have a short career with that attitude. Just do whatever Miss Lilia says and you'll be fine. Thanks. I'm just gonna put the egg bread, maybe. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. The thanks we get for showing a little integrity. Hmm. That sucks. What about, um, Spencer? I said get out. Must wait a talk to him. Hmm. Pretty much side of the board buttons. Is it done? Well, de technically, I owe you an ex. Seeing as you're the first one to complain about my paranoia, have you ever considered that you might be the problem? Out of my office. We're done. Hmm. This is. The thanks. Put back in dialogue about proof sync. Maybe some data I can get. Is it done? Oh, sure. I'll get right on it. Everyone hear that? Yeah. This guy's getting a letter of referral. Out of my office. We're done. This is... Mm. Maybe I won't handle this in you. Might better get another dialogue option. Let's go to the Pavari. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Good to know where they are. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Battery levels are fully charged. Thank you, because all cleaning tasks have Hmm. That sucks. Um
We're going uh, get the get the thing right. If you're here for most folk don't got the time. Just wrap that up for you. Well, you're gonna oh, fine. We get Pavati. Um, get it off. Not getting into too much danger, are you? Long as you don't mind me grinding scrap. Just as. I was just sure I'll pay for that ma'am thanks for being you're welcome anytime good Pavadi on that uh stamp I think I took the, the boss boss man Get cooler in here? I swear they had the heat turned way the hell up. Ellie, my mind, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me, because I don't bite back. I go anyway. Level 19. Oh crap. What's the boss in there? I think you got late in some slug sellers. I think you some kind of crack around this place for the rest. What? 
What is he doing here? Some imposters in the running place then. Oh, that's cool. Didn't realize that. Let's go talk to the Udom then. Oh, am I good? It is on. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled. Hello. Welcome to the office of the representative of. How might I. My sincerest apologies, but I'm afraid I don't understand. Other guy? Regretfully, that name doesn't ring a bell. Now, if you have nothing further, please excuse yourself. I am the board's representative here on Groundbreaker. You may call me Mr. Silva or Sir, whichever you prefer. If you're asking why he no longer sits at this desk, that's simple enough. His employment with Halcyon Holdings was terminated. If you're instead inquiring as to the precise location of his body, well, that I do not know. May I help you with anything else? I haven't asked, nor do I care to know. I heard screams in point of fact, from down the waste disposal hall. Now you know as much as I do. I hope this information satisfies your curiosity. Good day. Hmm. That's a bit stank. Auntie Alex, I stumble upon the most cruel discovery of you. This is bit worse. Listen, Jay, to be good. Udom. I like that guy. Oh, I can still I can get into there without them noticing. Oh, I can. Let's even give a shit to the bedroom. So let's all in. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Cosmo. Why is this locked as well? Oh. Elevator. What the hell? Who's this guy? This is cool. You can sneak me around a bit more often. We're up to the other levels. There's a Miller. Nothing too exciting.
Oh, is that no balcony? You have nothing? So sad. We thought it more. Oh. Well. Cool looking at you. The guards like this and we walk in here, they don't give a fuck. Not even restricted access. There's this dude in here as well, it's turning off. It's always fucking freezing in the bays. Oh, I just store. If there's no one to pay the hitman, then I'm pretty much in the clear. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Hello, you. Uh, hello. June Lay called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Uh, Dr. Fenhill, I hope you're not here to harass any of our patients. Harassing? Come on, I was trying to help Jesse. You have a creative definition of helping. Then it's lucky for us both that I've found gainful employment with someone who appreciates my ingenuity. Good luck with this one, Captain. Now, is there something I can help you with? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. And I... Engineering. Wow, look at that discount. Huge. Um, it's bloody. Groundbreaker safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people from the West Indies. Oh, that's thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace else. In her messages, June May said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dust back casserole. Saltuna and Dino Gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Sweetheart cake. Oh yeah. Um, not here.
Cool. Let's uh Sam, my back. Carry on this quest. Here we go. I'm on it. Estadia and Stella Bay. Okay, quite a lot. Emerald Vale. Um, Fulbrook. That's Monarch as well. Emerald Vale. Mm. I got two more vowels. Let's see what we Bye. Maybe. Maybe too. I mean, um, it's... I wish we didn't need cycles a bit earlier, but that's the opinion, Chris. Says, yep. I'm warmed up now. He's dying. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you've ever seen? Oh, help me. Help us all. I saw one. Fresh pocket in the mouth. Right. So, your aunt saying these people want? I don't know what they are now. Huh? the next spot. Might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but 
I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a... I see you stuck around. That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. What? No, Captain, I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain, this is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? He's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that cat. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I, I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jollikers Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. Put on your Pavati. Um, Better do Ellie's best. Insurance broker. You're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Are you serious? Well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. <laughs> hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhel can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, 
Hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Please, my policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. Very well, I'll do it. But then you've got to go. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill? If you say so. Hmm? The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. That Harlow reminds me of my old dentist, and not in a good way. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. <laughs> Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Maybe as line holders or warm bodies? Oh, sure. You've got to wait in line for just about anything in Byzantium. And not everyone has the time or inclination to do it themselves. As for warm bodies, some companies like to keep extra workers on site to look more productive. Oh, no. There's lots of paper shuffling and pen clicking that goes on. The really good ones know how to leave sticky notes in just the right places. See, this is why I had to get out of Byzantium. Not sure what comes next for me, though. I've never been much of a planner. Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. Could have fooled me with all your tough talk. What's gotten into you? You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Don't mention it. Really, this feels weird enough as it is. <laughs> Something on your mind? Something about this Harlow guy isn't on the up and up. Glad it's not just me. The way Harlow was leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels off. And you're acting like those things are normal. You can fit most of what drives people onto a bit cartridge. The minute someone claims highfalutin notions, they're either lying to you or lying to themselves. Or worse. One in a thousand actually means it. Nothing more dangerous than an idealist. Something... Any more dial now?
Hungry? Hey, I'm Duncan. famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. I just ever no rub. What do you got? Must have some old stuff. Is that a pair? Experience correct and most of the keys are non functional. Fuse to go from plasma damage. A couple of few entries are unreadable, or those remaining in the stimulus can be viewed. Corporal Saba, you're resigned for to meet me. What kind of a shit half silly is this? Yes, you probably should again. Shit rap, fucking the alarm, went off again, porridge. Let's go on the stuff like that page. This data pack contains just general immersive coal and like that sort of contractor. found them but you know huh. oh well, how do I get in here Breakfast. Who's back anyway? Fifty, no buffs. Who's my hacker? You my hacker dude around. Sky, I think I need. I've got the science room, but I can't get in this town at all. Got my um. No, I mean. I need a data pad or something. You can around here.
Oh, well, that's easy. It's on the table. Classic trousers inside to put project no, n not a toy on hold. I want to see a status shape to the project. Attack, really? Um, you're telling me kind of meaning at least. Oh, I was just a clue. What was your priority? We're perusing one of the many little business screen media outlets and drawing our fine section of employee compliance settlement when you're approached by a stranger who makes a comment that through the street is injured. Stop being rock for what you do. Engage with the virtuals. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship. But one day you discover that they're having really kind of sexual stories to your children. What do you do? <laughs> oh. Got the glue gun. Let's go to the Ben and Lab. The Tower of Monarch. Teaching Royal Monarch Monsters. Um. Shit. Alright, we can jump across here. Mind control ray. Are you serious? Let's go. Um, oh, how do I get out of here then? Walk out, I guess. Oh, fuck.
bit of a jump. Oh my god. It's used to games where you like, if you fail and jump, you just, you grab. <laughs> and like, oh wait, it's not one of those games. It's got real bad, uh, jumping. Really, really tough services. Oh well, whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll get it this time. game that was great get out of here get out of here Let's go to Emerald Vale. No Cyprus. I should do that. Um... Sign, I'll sign of the day. Oh, wait, I'm not putting that. Okay. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. Can it be a We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Out yeah, there. Back on the home planet, I haven't been here an end. But it's changed since I put the cannibals, well, corpse cannibals. Saw the lava. Let's oh. get here. Some, uh, 
Dark Antis. Oh, this should taste some stuff. Thanks, Dark Antis. Could've been tough back in the day. We hope you've enjoyed your trek across the breathtaking landscape of Emerald Vale, Terra 2's most fertile settlement and future bread bath. Let's go talk to the um Let's get of Halcyon. Go talk to the new mirror. See these new quest ring like Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Hey, thanks for helping me back in that cave. You got a real knack for curative work. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. Hard to say. Without Reed, we've got the run of the town. Adelaide went on about living in harmony with one another and whatnot. We'll see if it comes to pass. If it ain't the starship and Huh? A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. Who's the boss? Who there? changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. A place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery, with crops enough to feed a town. But of course, and now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. Oh, that's nice. Oh, where's Kate? Who's got that? What do you think you're doing? Um, stealing? You're lucky I've already filled my quota. I'm not keypad. No, I'm not doing rip decrease though. No, I'll steal that then. All right, hushing up. Oh, I'm jumping at shadows here. I'm too close, man. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Don't oh, look inside. Where's the key cap? Everyone all right? My key card? How do I get in here? 
I was gonna keep cuts me, so sad. Ah, let's have a look. Sad, 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 sad. All right, hush up. Maybe he's outside the walls, I can see who's gonna be. I know he's lurking somewhere. The city is gonna go outside town, but find the old boss man. I can steal this guy's, these guys' power as well, won't you? Go outside the walls, maybe some um, digging or something. Same idea. It's so insane. Bosses from Chicken and Lincoln, so I'm not for it. There's some fines. Install this in case browse the town. Yeah. No. Well, it's an NBC out here, but not to be.
No boss man. We're like outside the walls, you know, so the city will do. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there's another building here. Exciting now. Burns I never inspected. Do you want to end your years of luxury retirement? Oh my god. It's the early retirement thing. That's hilarious. There's spades here. Can't keep us out. Association. Shovels, Gezi, and Cordley. Theodore Granger, Industrial Excellent. Afternoon value 8,112 bit. Emma Thompson. Oh. What did it do? I killed. Did die. Oh. I got buried recently. Motion raise. Yeah, I don't think I've been over here. Oh no, that's where my special was. You've been there. Just trying to find the boss man, but... What's this locked door here? Else here. Yeah, I think I've done this place. It's uh, then reliable and carry on. Oh, I should switch to research now.
Tyle. Hmm. I'd wager this is the outcome. Here they come! Hey, take it. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh, that's nice. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh, hell. I'm sorry, Nyoka. Oh, help me, but Innocent was right. We knew we should have taken this contract, but one it was bad, but this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or adult or don't, or I don't know what, the towns might need a sport thing without an employment contract. Can we find someone to let me send a message? She'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you. The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home. 
which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Not unless you happen to be familiar with the ins and outs of Mana Queen behavioral patterns. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Powders. Ah, oh, the gulch. Yeah, from around here. It's okay now. Nothing for. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Former wife. And if you so much as heard a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Arlo wants my ring? Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. 
Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy, and that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Take it, you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Oh, yeah. A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. We've got three kinds of sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, the broken crest. No, we're going to splash it. Oh. We'll land band first. Destination reached. Scylla. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. Yeah. Oh. Is there? Okay. Pass. Let me get down. Space, huh? Ah. Things outside the field. Interesting. Scylla is our colony's busiest mining settlement. But don't take our word for it. Ask one of the hundreds of proud Hephaestus miners going about their work right now. You're in for a real treat, because our last stop takes us to a charming little village outside. 
Unified Stellar Bay, located on Terra One. Monarch again. Well, we're not going to Monarch. Get some boomers. Actually, maybe the. Fast away. I can fast travel. What? What can I walk through there? Bullshit. Looks like we're doing this! Cave. This is the way I'm doing cave, that's right. What about that? A robot in here too. Just throwing it away. Greetings, Junior Excavator. Hmm. Strange. I've moved. In the bubble. down here. Monster. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. 
He said it was some old myth, something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Fucking right we are. It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. You'll see when we get there. Right, um... I am. Let's see if session is in um, Hollow's best. Ask about Hollow's best. A dirty, a ton of. Digital astrogator, Sam. I have reclaimed my entire. Why don't you give out that dude at Mama? Oh, I can't be bothered. Oh, I can just fast forward there. Oh. Oh, What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you, and I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. Listen to me, Felix. Don't go jumping to conclusions. This isn't what it looks like. Yeah, because it looks like you've been taking money from the board. It looks like you sold out, Clyde. Oh, come on, Felix. We've all taken money from the board. They run this colony. I can't pay my soldiers in ideological purity. If I have to take the board's money to buy my guns, outfit my troops, and prepare my revolution, then I'll do it. I know, I know, but you gotta have principles, right? If you're in the establishment's payroll, you're a confederate to tyranny. Your captain is trying to teach you something, Felix. We must contend with reality not as we wish it to be, but as it is. Captain, I hope Trask hasn't tricked you into believing his ridiculous accusations. If you're willing to overlook this unpleasantness, I'm willing to take Felix into my crew. I don't know about this, boss. You've been real good to me. I'm not too keen on jumping ship.
future, boss. Whatever you say. You don't have to do this. You're a free man, Felix. Free to disobey. Then I choose not to get on my boss's bad side. Sorry, Clyde. If you wanted me on your crew, you should have been the first to ask. Then I suppose there's nothing more left to be said. Goodbye, Captain. I doubt we'll cross orbits again. Mm. Boss, when we get back to the ship... I'll... Yeah, boss? Yeah. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. Now, hold on. What happens if we hit the wall? Most likely, the bullet will ricochet. We need to talk. Listen, boss. I owe you an apology. I got stupid. Clyde wanted me on his crew, and I jumped at the shot. You took a chance with me back on the Groundbreaker. I should have shown you a little more loyalty. I appreciate you hearing me out. There was something else on my mind, honestly. I've been trying to make sense of all this business with Clyde and Trask. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. That's pretty harsh, boss. You including yourself in that lesson? Yeah, I guess I don't know what you're about. But I know you treated me fair. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. I'm glad I didn't go back to Harlow. I've got all the family I need right here on our ship. Thanks for your time, boss. Thanks. Bodies and yokers. Sun's coming to an end. Might might take a break. Might go down. No. Um. Doesn't matter. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Remember that you are not insured. Oh, I'm sure. Short. Ah, oh, shit. I've got the switch. Hey, Pavati on, on this crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's hop back inside and log. I'm really gonna run back here. Alright, now Duke, be back later. <laughs>